Greetings, housemates, and welcome back to Operation Cloudburst. I mean, let's play Valkyria Chronicles. I'm Flop, and this is Operation Cloudburst. We're about to rock it. Let's see it in action. Uh, if things turn out to be... Let me brief you on Operation Cloudburst. We'll be working with the Vassal Defense Battalion. It, uh, I occasionally screw up, like I did last time, and had to reload and go pretty far back. Um, and I ended up with, like, I probably made different choices leveling up and spending my money is easy. You just buy everything. But leveling up my soldiers, I think I leveled up my scouts more this time than I did last time. Anyway, that stuff tends to vary from video to video because of how I have to jump around thanks to the game save mechanics and the inability to replay stuff. And me wanting to show you an A rank um, run of a mission uh, right after I show you my kind of standard roleplay story playthrough. So, um, just know, I just continue to slog on. So the enemy is stationed around the east end of the bridge. Uh, that is the north camp, northwest camp. Um, top left is the east end of our bridge. You have a powerful pair of advantages going for you now. One, you're behind them. Two, they don't know you're there. Strike them hard and fast to make best use of that edge. Your objective is to occupy the enemy's base camp located at the mouth of the bridge. All right. It's possible the enemy will detect your approach as time goes by. Once they do, count on them calling for backup. Get to that camp as fast, uh, camp fast if you want this to end pretty, Lieutenant. Many enemy tanks are stationed in the area, but some still have their engines shut down, meaning they won't attack you. Any inactive tanks whose radiators aren't glowing and whose cannons aren't in position can be ignored completely. Also, it looks like they've got tanks of extra ragnite fuel sitting around throughout the area. The gunshot should be able to detonate those and hopefully take out any nearby tanks or foot soldiers with it. Alright, the enemy base camp is captured. That's our victory condition. We have 10 turns, which is a little stricter than normal. Wilkin dies, and they can't take our camp and kill all our soldiers. Sure. Alright, we have exactly one camp. Note that there's a sniper's nest next to us. You can see it as that... Um, little dark trapezoid next to our little base camp flag. Uh, there's some ladders over on the other sides indicating that there is like rooftops or something and likely whenever you see those I suspect enemy snipers especially in crumbling buildings uh, and otherwise there's uh, three enemy camps. Um, I can tell you there's three because two of them are marked with flags um, that's kind of a given that there's a camp under each of those flags. And the third one is actually hard to see. It's between our camp and the camp in kind of the center right of the map. Um, it's a little red rectangle right there. You can kind of see it if you squint. Um, so what are we up to? Uh, scout rush, right? Maybe. First off, we want to place Alicia. Um, scouts can go in back because their incredible movement distance means they can almost always get where they need to go um, with an action or two, um, except on very specific um, maps where you absolutely need everything you can get. Um, shock troopers and um, lancers and maybe snipers need to be up front or close to whatever they're doing. I think there's plenty of movement to get our sniper up into the nest. Um, so we could put her in the back. Um, however, if she doesn't make it, we're screwed. So we'll, 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 yeah, that's how, we'll do that. Okay, we'll go with Alicia. Is she friends with any other scouts? Scout friend combos are pretty powerful. Um, but there's no way we're not taking Alicia, and I think two is fine. We certainly want Rosie. Salinas. Yes. Remember, Rosie is incredibly short range, so she's good at close quarters fighting, but she is no longer okay at mid range fighting. That, that's done. We want Largo somewhere. And if we're going to use Largo, he's probably going to have to be right up here. Um, there, there's only so many things we can use him for, but there are a lot of tanks on this mission. Uh, 
Uh, an engineer would be good. Dallas is solid engineer. Engineers have a decent amount of AP, only 200 less than scouts. And then what else do we want? Let's actually bring another scout. Are any of them friends with Alicia or Frisia? Nope. But Cherry is friends with Rosie. All right. Operation Cloudburst. All right, jumping on in. Whoa, whoa. What happened? What happened? Um. Okay, here we Take go. Take down the bridgehead as quickly as possible. Squad seven, move out. All right, that's everyone. Ready to move out, squad? You're cra crazy. Incoming message from squad one leader Faldio lands it on the west bank, sir. All right, Faldio. With Enemy fancy company last in name. motion. Presumed headed name. east across the bridge toward our position. A full company? That's bad news for us. We'll have to move fast. We're taking that camp before the cavalry rolls in. Listen closely. This information could save your life. Potentials. Every unit possesses a set of innate abilities known as potentials, awakening combat under special conditions. Mm-hmm. Everybody's different. Okay, great. I think you can actually smash this wall. Um, there are like Ragnite canisters all up in here. They'll destroy these non-tanks and they'll severely damage real tanks. Like see, that is a Ragnite canister, that little square there. It'll blow the treads off this guy so it won't be able to move. And it'll do like 1200 damage to it, bringing it within easy kill range. All right. Uh, first things first, we should either get a scout up here or our sniper. Uh, scouts have movement to spare. It's best to know what your sniper is going to do, but our sniper is not doing anything except getting up in that tower. Um, we can shoot Ragnite canisters or people with her. Uh, and they're both, they're both fine choices. We want to finish this in two or three turns. If we destroy this wall, if that's possible, Wilkins should just have to nudge it. The question is whether to use the tank, because the tank uses up so much stuff. Also, let's look at, no, I mean orders. Okay, so healing request is only one command point. That makes it, it's pretty good. If you really need someone to tank it out, you can put defense boost on them before they run interdiction fire, then healing request, and even your scouts can be uh, pretty tough. They can go all shock trooper on some poor guys. And remember, if you're gonna use slow moving units like the tank or um, these guys, it doesn't quite apply to snipers um, or shock troopers. You wanna, that first action each turn is how they move the farthest. So it's better to move them gradually over the course of multiple phases instead of all in one burst. Like, if you're gonna move Rosie three times, you'll get like, what, uh, I don't know, you'll get like 75% farther if you move her once a turn than if you move her three times in a single turn. Um, and that can be really important to your map presence. The same for the tank. You probably wanna move, if you actually need to cover distance, like we would have to get up here, it's gonna take like, 
we're going to have to move him twice this turn and twice next turn. You got to think about how much command points that actually is, because it's a ton. However, the tank is awesome and tough as balls. Uh, also, it might be able to score a shot right through here on this guy. Um, turn one. I'm not sure exactly how far he can get, or if there's anything to shoot around this corner here. Uh, we could drop a mortar on these guys. Our mortar will refill every turn. Um, we probably are going to need to drop a mortar on here. We might need to shoot this tank enough that it dies. I don't see any ragnite around it, which means it's probably going to be pretty boss. And we can't afford to have this one shooting us in the butt, um, which is a good thing. We have Largo. We've got Catherine. We kind of need to clear this area so that we can move ahead here without being flanked and crush into here if we really want to do this quickly. Also, we're going to keep an eye out for enemy leaders and all that jazz. So... Salinas could run up here, take this guy out. We don't have to take the camp, but it will help refuel any of our munitions or anything like that. Roger. All right, I've decided that tank needs to go first. So let's go ahead and get her up in here. See, oh yeah, she's got plenty of leeway to get in here. Enemy Walk side. Try not to take any needless actions. Okay, let's take a peek at the map. Do we see anything? Okay, what do we see? One of the best things about snipers is they can actually take good looks. All right, that guy is in cover. It'll take a lot of sniper fire to get rid of him. Now, if we were to, say, mortar all of these sandbags, we could then pick these guys off with sniper fire from up here with little trouble. Tank. Tank. Ragnite barrel we can shoot. Tank. More ragnite that could be shot. Mm, can I see this? This is the destructible, hopefully, wall. Can't tell. Okay, Lancer. Not a threat to us unless uh, our tank. Another Lancer. Light tank. Note if it says Imperial tank and it has no tread health, it only has 400 health. It is not actually something that can attack you. Ah, and a scout commander. Let's see. Let's go for this Ragnite. Yeah. We want to center on it. Okay, note that it did a ton of damage to that tank. And then we want to come Use the down. Buildings for cover. Um. Stay close out there. I don't think that... I don't think the scout's going to be able to kill Catherine, even if we leave her out in the open. And we might decide to send her back up there. Okay. So this guy's weak. Sadly, this guy didn't get damaged. Uh, this thing has no treads. Note that its AP has been cut to, like, a 12th. Um, so it can barely move. How do we want to send... All right, let's bring the Edelweiss up. I don't think I'm gonna get a shot at anything on my first action, so we need to shoot early. You can nudge people with the tank. It doesn't actually hurt you or opponents. You can push your soldiers out of the way. Um, it does knock them down. Uh, you can kind of nudge people into better positions. It will stop, it will, like a grenade blast, it will uncrouch them or unhide them in grass. Um, which can be useful. We really want to save as much CP as possible. We need to move twice. So once we'll move up here. Our next move will move here. Should we see how it goes, or should I bring a scout? I will need scouts up around here somewhere. So let's actually take a scout first. Uh, 
I'm ready to go. I'll take Freezia. I want to see what's up over here. Please proceed with caution. Enemy sighted! Okay, we need three headshots. We just can't afford for this dude. Can't afford to miss. Um, because his counterattack would wipe out our spell. Man down, everybody be careful. Yeah, this wall looks destructible, and there's some Ragnite right there. Hit that camp hard! Let's take a slow step through. Enemy sighted! Fall back! The Ragnite will destroy these tanks. Medic. So Medic. there's two Ragnite canisters right there. I think I can set them both off with one scout fire. Um, Ready yourselves for the next attack. But will that destroy all my cover? We're sending units out to both sides. Let's plan on doing that next turn. Found us one! Okay, with her position there, we either have to move her or we have to take out that tank. And we kind of have to protect her from these guys. And of course, we'd like to save as much command points as possible. Remember, Rosie's ultra short range, so I don't want to bring her in just yet. The scouts can take care of these scouts. Selena's could take care of these guys, but maybe... So could the Edelweiss. Since I believe this wall is destructible, um, I am going to move the Edelweiss up behind these buildings. All right, well. Here we go! You just got to have faith. You can really flub moving this thing by turning a lot. Out of range. Uh, he's going to be worthless here. Please avoid any hasty decisions, soldiers. All right, well. Use the rubble for cover as you advance. Please stay behind cover as you proceed. Okay, three hits to the frontal armor. Watch the distance between you and the enemy. We can hit that Imperial tank. That's pretty lame. It looks like the rubble's blocking most of our shots. Let's just take this shot. I don't think it's going to work out. But we're not wasting any limited ammunition. All right, I want to get my scouts out there. That's two actions. I'd like to save two or three actions. We need Largo to hit this tank. Ha! Yeah, leave it to me. Let's save Alicia's actions. Be ready for an ambush, soldiers. Enemy found. Yeah! 
Like, duh! I'm impressed, but not surprised. Okay, we captured this. Enemy camp taken. Good work. Proceed with caution. Don't leave yourself open. Okay, we just want in a good position. Just watch this. Get Largo to take out this tank. Accuracy on their weapon isn't so good. We'll keep the scout dude from hitting him. Now's your check. Okay, when you're moving, you want to make sure you just get as large an area as possible. Come on, Rocket. Yeah! Boom. All right, good man. Remember, um, every All tank right. and every man commander down. is Everybody worth points. Uh, I mean, cash and XP. Okay, you see why we put him on the top right here? Um, units like him and shock troopers, you want to position them so they can get as deep into the map as possible thanks to their low mobility. And then Alicia can take out this scout. Moving out! Come on, pull it together! Alright, maternal I believe ups all of her stats. Those tanks, there's too many of them. This dude. Yep. Okay, we'll get as close as we can so that we can duck behind the tanks we're using as cover. Yeah. Good job. Hmm. Just keep up this pace. Okay, the goal is to get between these two tanks so that nothing can shoot at us. Use the watchtowers! Whew. Just barely made it. Alright, we've got two command points. The Edelweiss covered from here to there. Should be able to bust through. And then, kind of, it'll just control this zone. We can get a couple shots out of it. Or, if I move it now, it'll definitely get more movement. It will be hard for it to mortar these guys, but we do have a bunch of scouts. And then, great thing about the Edelweiss is it can kind of body block um, interception fire. Or, of course, we can make some... Um, we can make some hay with our sniper by, uh, or even Frisia. She could probably set off both of these and we could snipe this tank from the rear. That would severely weaken these guys. And if they move, then we're in trouble, because that's just not going to be feasible at all. And they'll have 9 AP. Everyone's pretty safe seeming. Largo's a little out there. They do have a sniper, it seems, but I think we're a bit far away. I'm ready to go. Okay, let's at least use Frisia. Now it's like impossible to see, but I'm pretty sure I lined it up. Okay, pretty much right towards that tank. I hope. Maybe I could hit all three of those. That would have been awesome. Remember to look at your surroundings. 
Okay, so we, we definitely damaged that one. Don't give up now. And let's go ahead and advance her up here. Just stay calm she and get it She should be safe from death. Um, but she might get taken out if there's some sort of scout lying around that I do not know about. And the question of whether do should we snipe that? Roger. Let's go ahead and snipe that other tank. Accuracy boost would have been nice. Never again. Please keep the enemy's position in mind. Use the watchtowers. Let's go ahead and advance some, just in case. I don't think there are any great targets back up there. Okay, let's see what happens. I don't like this at all. Ouch! Remember, you're immune to critical hits. Oh god. <laughs> okay, and they choose not to move anything else. Okay, we've got some unknown marked on the maps, but we know they didn't move around because uh, they would have spent the command points. You get to see that. Okay. If anyone goes down, you can send in a medic. Alright, we've got 9 AP. Um, she's beat up, she's beat up. Alicia is not. We took care of Alicia. Okay, I think we can blow that up with a grenade, or we can drive through it with the tank. Entering combat! Let's hope we can drive through it this turn. Enemy sighted! Hostile sighted! Hostile sighted! Please be careful of stray bullets! Please avoid Hostile any sighted. decision, soldier. Report, Enemy sighted! Okay, so we bust down this wall. Everyone get ready the to question intercept! Is, what are we gonna do now? We can take out these tanks. Front lines, return fire! Yeah. Almost. Someone with a grenade could take out one of these tanks. Our mortar would do quick work of this dude. Ah, but I probably want to use my mortar here. What about my machine gun? Two shots to the head. Uh, my machine gun even would work on this thing. I think this tank has to go. Now! Target silenced. Head okay, for my next trick. want to get to a position where I can put a mortar on this guy or I can body block this one.
Killing this guy, though, he's a big threat to these three. And uh, my tank's pretty much immune. If we're going to leave this tank alive, which this tank will take a lot of killing, um, it's going to be best if I just nuke this guy right now. And then with three actions, I can probably just run Alicia up, kill these two on the way in. If I skip this guy, then I can bomb here. Well, let's see how close we can get. Entering combat! <laughs> I'll mop the floor with you. Show them what Galia's militia can do. Not quite in mortar range, but we will make it there this time. Try action. to take care of them quickly. Alright. So we can just devastate these guys. What we really want is to annihilate their sandbags and do damage to them. I think. Okay, this is on the very end of that sandbag. Tell me this is big enough. Fire! Perfect. Okay, now we don't even have to We're kill these guys. Because they're not actually in their base anymore. Intriguing, right? So we've got five actions. Alicia's the farthest away, but I think she can handle this. She can move from there to there. She can probably get right behind their tank. She can get close. Take out this dude. Maybe even take this one out. Um, this tank does have this area covered with suppressive fi air interdiction fire, but we've got tricks for that too. Um, and Alicia is the toughest, that's why we're using her, even though she is the furthest back. So we're gonna whip out. Defense boost. This is defense. an order! She's got like... Brace up and get ready to defend yourself! She's got like 50 more health than other scouts, which is a lot. That's like 50 more bullets when your defense reduces those. My turn, okay? So even if her mobility is less, she still has tons of mobility too. Unit spotted. Okay, the shock trooper. Don't get pinned down. Fire back. He had to spend a good bit of time turning. Plus, if we take him out, he's worth cash. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay, thank you, defense boost. Do I have time to worry about him? Oops, I meant to keep going. We could try and take him out with someone else. We're just gonna push ahead. We can actually heal Alicia with our order. Um, after this, and while I'd love to kill him and grab those extra monies, um, my turn, okay? We just need to finish this off as quickly as possible. And there, he mostly missed us. Okay, note that we are like the bosses, um, seemingly indestructible thanks to our super high defense. Please hit. Well played, Alicia. Well played. <laughs> I'm impressed, but not surprised. All right, orders. 124. It's also good to figure out exactly how much healing this All is. All right, listen up. Soldier wounded. Get some treatment. If you really want to play around with orders and stuff, Looks like that was a hundred points. Uh, 
more like 75. Um, if you really want to play around with orders or like new weapons and things like that, then uh, just do skirmish. My turn, okay? Okay, first off, before they can shoot us, let's just kill this dude because he's going to be constantly shooting us in the face. And now we've cleared out their camp, and second <laughs> turn we're taking his base. Nice camp. work! Keep taking them down! Whew. Whew, good job, Alicia. Thank you, Crumbling Wall. Nice work. We've occupied the enemy encampment at the bridge's end. Okay, that was no frills attached, but um, we did take out two leaders and, what, two tanks? Drawbridge <laughs> control room secured, Welks. It's definitely all about getting the most you can from your units. Excellent. Open it up, East. Let's see how their tanks like the river. Mm, savor the river yes, sir. tanks. Ragnite turbines on. Stand by to raise drawbridge. All right, two turn A rank. Boom. Two leaders, two light tanks. No, that light tanks are worth slightly more than a leader. Um, it doesn't appear that there were aces. It would have been nice to take out that other enemy leader. Remember, one of the tanks was a leader, uh, but whatever. Um, a rank is worth more than a single unit or two. Yes. Industrial strength victory. Surprise! Oh, God. Oh, brutal. We've just cut off our own defenses, but we did dump a lot of them in the river, and I suppose we can put it back down as soon as we get it back up. All right, weaponry tab updated. Uh, let's finish out the chapter. It appears that Lieutenant Gunther's plan worked. An impressive start, soldier. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Captain. The kid's crazy. Drove a damn tank right into the stinking river. Yeah, and I can't believe it worked. I'm still in shock. Hmm. All right, you two. Now hold up your side of the bargain and you listen to Welkin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The kid might got the chops to command, but that don't mean I gotta like any dark hairs. Uh, hey, come on! Yeah, don't be a jackass. It's okay, Alicia. I'm used to it by now. That's also not okay. But I hope... I know the day will come when Darksons can join society as equals. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. It's me again, reporting for GBS. Lieutenant Gunther, that was quite an impressive result on your first mission. That's right, A rank. You heard it here. Yes, thanks to the squad's hard work, we managed to take back the Great Vassal Bridge. Any impressions on things to come now that you've gotten your first taste of victory? Impressions? Well, let's see. Bridges are important. They link the roads that bring people what they need. I'd like to become a sort of bridge, <laughs> linking my crew together. I think that's my new goal. <laughs> Words of wisdom. Mm. 
Sorry, this is about all I can do. But maybe, once everybody returns, they'll see a couple of lion's paws blooming, and it'll start to feel like home again. It's probably an invasive species. Hey, Alicia! We're heading out soon. Okay, I'll be right there. Alicia may be the Johnny Appleseed of Kudzu. Well, flowers, do your stuff. Chapter 5 The Cloden Wildwood. Ah. New skirmish battle. Uh oh. All right, guys, that is it for this episode. We wrap up chapter four, and we move on to chapter five, The Clode in Wildwood. This map is, hmm, it's a good map. It's a good map. Also, we get to see some magical beasties and finally see the face of the enemy, Maximilian. Until next time, my friends, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>